Yeah, I'll react to that, sure. This should be good. Hey guys. Uh, original link to the video, top of the description. New York Times, right? Preemptive like. Look who it is, Bill O'Reilly. Uh, yeah, uh, let's, let's give this a watch. My name's Connor, if you're new, did I say that? Let's, let's see. Let, how do people react to the U.S. healthcare system? If healthcare is a constitutional right, then... That's a form of communism because no country could afford those payments True. without seizing the assets of everybody else. <laughs> what? <laughs> Welcome to Finland! Oh! <laughs> Dudes, what's going on? Guys, I've never had a serious health, uh, you know, problem. I, I've never really, you know, from a broken bone, I had to go to where I had to go to the hospital. I can't talk right now. Jesus. First video of the day. It's tough. Um, so I, I've never had to take an ambulance before. So I'm not the greatest person to give perspective on this. All right. But I am very curious to see what people abroad think of it. <laughs> Oh my god! It's make me so mad. I, don't, I, ah. I mean, come on, guys. It's it's not that hard. Look around the world. Everyone else seems to have figured it out, right? Imagine you're in America. Which of these options would be best for you? Hmm. That's a uh, yeah. That's it's a lot to think about. What is it? An Oop Max. I guess with what I got here, I would go with plan D because the deductible is zero. Okay. So, uh, from what I believe, I'm, I'm sort of certain about it. So the premium is the amount you're going to pay each month. So obviously you want a low premium. That would be nice, right? The copay is the amount that you, it's usually a much smaller amount, as you can see, $0, 50, 30, 30, that you pay at the doctor's visit or that you pay for the, the prescription. The deductible, this is where it's a little different, but I think I have a sort of good idea. So the OOP max is, if, if you reach this amount of money, you pay for your health care within a year, then the insurance company has to pretty much cover anything over that. And the deductible is, so you'll see as like you get a higher deductible, you usually have a, a, a lower premium. So if you don't have that many health risks, like I, I for instance, I don't uh, get that much. You know, I do have prescriptions, but I don't visit the doctor that often. I would want more of a, a lower premium. Um, whereas if you have a lot of health issues, right, um, and you're going to the doctor or getting something very often, you're going to want a higher premium that you're going to have to pay, but a much lower deductible. In instance, like, so if your medical cost is going to be much more than $2,850 within one year, then it would be very good to have a low deductible because you're going to get a lot for your money. You're, if usually like you're, you know, you're getting chemotherapy or, or something very costly, you, you would like a low deductible because no matter what the cost of that, you're only going to have to pay 2850 The OOP max, I, I think, is just the... It's out-of-pocket max. And you... you that, that is the most amount you could pay for anything. But th this is where I'm kind of confused because if the deductible is how much you have to pay in a year, then how could you even reach an OOP max of 7,750. So, yeah, I, I, as I said, I, I don't have that many, you know, health issues, and so I, I'm not as knowledgeable on this stuff. I, I just know, hey, a low premium would be better. Um, even though I'm not going to get as much help, it, it might not matter. Does that make sense? And I, I'm a little bit iffy on the deductible OOP max. I would go with plan D because the deductible is zero. Okay, there's there's more. Gold HMO uh PPO PPO HMO. And what are copays? I I don't get that's
Right. Okay. So with a deductible of zero, if you had an OOP max of zero dollars, I believe that would just be free healthcare. You know, because they have to cover every expense, your copay, uh, at, at treatment costs and whatnot. Um. 7,500, but the, I think the reason, the difference between the deductible and OOP max is because you, maybe copays don't apply, but how are you gonna pay $7,000 of copay money when it's only $35 a visit? I mean, you divide that, how many visits is that? Um, so there has to be some costs that go into the uh, healthcare that isn't tied to the deductible. Sorry, I, I'm not a math, uh, you know, extremely well read in this, but I do know it's kind of a general idea. Yo, H M O. And what are copays? I, I don't. Get... That's like if you pay for Spotify Premium, and Spotify still makes you pay every time you listen to a song. It's yeah. too complicated. Hey. I'm lost. I'm... Good analogy. Good analogy. So lost. That's a so great analogy. <laughs> every time you listen to a song it's too complicated uh, i'm lost i'm so lost in canada i don't have to really think about the diff, you know different plans that i could pick from you just pay one amount um, per month and all the major treatments are covered at least 70 percent of our medical expenses are always covered <laughs> Uninsured, unable to afford treatment for a tooth infection that keeps flaring up. Oh. Oh. Cook Emma Rittner lost her job in March. I did manage to get antibiotics from a friend whose mom regularly goes down to Mexico, and I've been taking that, um, self-medicating, uh, based off of Dr. Google's advice. Antibiotics? Antibiotics from Google. Antibiotics you shouldn't mess around with. They sound much less dangerous than they could be, but I know there could be, like, antibiotics. There's a reason you can't buy over-the-counter antibiotics. You have to be prescribed because you need to follow the doctor's orders or bad stuff Bill's can happen. Advice. Sorry. Advice. Dr. Google's advice. Here in Japan, even if you lose a job, you would never lose your health insurance. When you lose your job, that's when society should help you. I've chosen a creative job and had the backing of a healthcare system. But if you don't have that, do you pick the safe job or do you pick the creative job? The average price per unit for insulin in 2018 Germany, $11. Canada's $12. Wow. It's like eight times the price of uh, insulin in Canada. That's insulin. That, that's, not just, that's not just something that's like, oh, I sort of need it. It's like, no, I, I need it. Oh, you need it? Uh, 98 bucks, $100. You want it? You want to live? <laughs> Jesus Christ. I guess that explains why Americans it's not funny, come up to but Canada it, it's to just buy like... medication. <laughs> Sorry, I'm sorry, hold on. So the FDA doesn't have any authority over the prices? We have also privatized health insurance companies in Germany, but the prices uh, are regulated by the government. The government negotiates the prices and it fixes that price for two years. In Singapore, they regulate the stuff to keep the prices down and, you know, avoid shit like this happening. Right, so I'm looking at an American medical bill. Why is it so expensive? Four hundred twenty-eight thousand dollars for rooms and such empty spaces. What? It's much cheaper to go Hilton Hotel than this one. <laughs> Wait, what? Okay, they need to dissect room and care for me because is that just? Is this? Does this include? What? Why? Jesus Christ. $8,000 for rooms and such empty spaces. What? It's much cheaper to go Hilton Hotel than this one. <laughs> skin to skin. 
skin after a C-section is $39. I've heard of this. I had to pay $39.35 to hold my baby after he was born. You need to pay money to hold a baby? Baby boy. Congratulations, here he is. 30 bucks. 30 bucks. I'll throw him out the window. 30 bucks. Jesus Christ. My brother, Jamie, who's in a lot of our videos, was pretty badly injured. He's going to lose a couple fingers. Uh, if you can give a dollar or if you can give five dollars, every little bit will help him and his family. That's heartbreaking. I... I... GoFundMe should not be something that people have to resort to to pay for their medical bills. So in America, people spend more than twice as much as in Japan for health care. You know, if I paid... twice the amount for a car, I would want the car to be twice as good. So what's, what's the life expectancy in the U.S.? <laughs> Why is it less? The U.S. should be on top of both of those lists. Like, if you're charging your citizens that much money, then they better be living the longest lives. It, it, it doesn't make sense. The mo I feel like one of the most messed up parts about American healthcare, the more I learn about it, is that you can get amazing health care if you're super rich. But if you're not, you got to either go broke or just not get it. And, and that, you know. I... When Alec turned 26, he was no longer allowed on his mother's insurance plan. Instead, he decided to pay for his insulin over the counter at list price. But the pharmacist told him a month's supply would be $1,300. He left empty-handed. Alec's official cause of death was diabetic ketoacidosis. A couple of years ago, I developed a heart condition, and I had to have my heart restarted three times. Uh, after the third time I had it restarted, the doctor suggested I get heart surgery. When I was 13, I started to get sick and really, really sick. I was then very quickly admitted into hospital where after three weeks, I had treatment for a brain virus. The cost of the operation, I think, is about $60,000. Uh, and then uh, the next day, when I left the hospital and I got my bill, it was a bill for parking. It was about 30 bucks. I was treated by royal doctors, had several MRIs, lumbar punctures, all for free. So I, I was pretty happy that I, uh, I lived in Canada and had universal health care. I couldn't have survived if I was in America. To know that I can get sick, I can get injured, but I will still be taken care of. That is freedom. This is not freedom. Oops. If healthcare is a constitutional um, right. Thankfully, again, I am, I am a horrible... I'm watching this, I'm learning, you know, here, but I can't reiterate enough i am a horrible person to give any sort of experience or or thing i i've been lucky enough that people in my immediate family um have had either low enough uh you know instances of severe health problems there's one that I can remember with my dad. Luckily, we were able to get through that, but I never looked at the bill. I'm sure it was very high. Um, but the worst, not the worst, maybe not the worst part, but a horrible part of this sort of system that I'd notice is that you have to stop and think about potential life-saving care because of money, which is horrendous. Like, th the fact that you have this obvious problem, you very well could die, but you, instead of just like, okay, I had this problem, I could die, I need to go, okay, hey, hello, doctor, what's wrong? Hey, I can help you. You do this, this. You have to be like, oh, I could do this, I could die, but wait, is it worth it for all that money? 
Um, I don't know. And that's just the most... More, I don't want, I want to say definitively that we're just such a messed up part. I'm curious what it is with, like, babies. Like, imagine... I'm not a parent, but imagine you have a very young child. And, you know, say they get a big cut on their foot that... Maybe if they were older, you wouldn't need to worry about as much, but they're, they're a child, they're, very, they're a baby, they're very vulnerable. This could be a life-threatening thing you don't know. And that's an immediate thing that you just need to be like, okay, go to the doctor. And, and just the lives that are cut short or lost because of that forced hesitance you need to have because you're like, wait, I could ruin my financial future even if I survive and my entire family's future and that's not even a sure thing that it'll help. That, that's the worst part in, that I see. I don't know if it's the worst part. I don't want to say the worst in such a controversial thing because there could be something I'm not thinking of. Um, yeah, it's just it's not, not good. Uh, I would appreciate any comments, guys. Um, uh, any of your experiences you've had, what you have to say, uh, any questions if I had them, I uh, would appreciate them answered. Uh, I hope you guys are doing well. Love y'all, and, and I'll see you guys next time.